This video will show you how to operate the Agilent 1260 Infinity 2 HPLC. The first step is to turn on the instrument using the three buttons located on it. The order in which you push these buttons does not matter. Here we are opening each section for demonstration purposes. Next, turn on the software. The software is called Control Panel. When prompted, click the Launch button. Do not click the Launch Offline button. When prompted, click Download to Instrument. Next, locate Instrument Not Ready and click the On button next to it. Observe how the pump, oven, and detector turn from Not Ready to Idle. The instrument is now ready to use. Locate the Method screen on the left-hand side and select the file Essential Oil. Observe the bars to ensure everything is still idle. We will put the pump in standby mode to replace the mobile phase. Select line B and place in the methanol container. Turn the pump back on and ensure everything is still idle. Open the pump by turning the dial counterclockwise allow the methanol to run for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, close the valve by turning the dial clockwise and make sure the pressure is around 70 bars. Open the top panels and insert your samples. It is important that you remember where each sample is located. In the software, right click on sampler and select method. Ensure that the volume is two microliters. Right click on pump and select methods. Ensure the solvent is 100% methanol. Right click on oven and ensure the temperature is 25 Celsius. Click on the detector and ensure the signal A wavelength is 254 and the UV lamp is selected. In the sample entry tab, click on each spot where your sample is located and fill out the sample name, type, and info, the injection volume, and select a method file. Fill out all of this information for your samples. On the right side, click Add to Queue and select As Soon as Possible, then No. Select the Run Queue tab and your samples should appear. In the Instrument Control tab, observe how the sample, pump, and oven are in the pre-run setting and the detector is not ready. When the detector is in the pre-run setting, the sampler will begin injecting. The HPLC will now begin collecting your data. When the HPLC is finished collecting your data, select the Cleaning Method file and allow the HPLC to run for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, turn off the pump it should be in the standby mode. Here, we are placing line B back into the original container. Turn the pump back on and allow it to run for 10 more minutes. After 10 minutes, turn the instrument off. You should observe the sampler, oven, and detector switch to not ready and the pump switch to standby. You can close the software and turn off the HPLC using the three buttons located on it.